So for this question, we're trying to figure out what is the max power that can be drawn from a standard 120 volt household circuit if it has a circuit breaker of 15 amps, which would be typical for a circuit breaker within our house. And 120 volt is typical for our households here. So we know the voltage in this case is 120 volts. And we know the maximum current it can draw before it flips a switch is 15 amps. So how much power is that going to be? So power is equal to voltage times current. So if we plug in 120 times 15, what we find is that is equal to 1800 watts. So in our next example here, we're trying to figure out the power reading of a stereo amp if it's plugged into a 120 volt outlet with a resistance of 65 ohms. And just to remember, the symbol for ohms is the Lululemon symbol, so ohms. So we know voltage is 120 volts, we know resistance is 65 ohms, and what we're trying to figure out is power. Now we saw from the previous page that an equation for power can also be V squared divided by R. So when we plug those in, we have P is equal to 120 squared divided by 65. So with 120 squared divided by 65, we end up with a power rating of 221.5 watts. So we have two more equations we want to show. Energy we have talked about in this course throughout physics as being measured in joules. Joules don't have a lot of meaning to us. So in our house, we tend not to measure energy in terms of joules. Energy, in terms of household energy, comes from kilowatt hours. Now, where does that come from? Well, the equation here is that energy is equal to power times time. And what you have to think about when we think about the units here being kilowatt hours is you have to think about, first of all, in terms of time. When you're on the computer or you're watching TV, do you really measure the time you're on there in terms of seconds or minutes? Probably not. You probably measure your time in terms of hours. And same thing with power. Watts isn't a particularly big number. So in terms of all the device going in our house, it's not going to be measured in watts. It's going to be more likely measured in kilowatts. Okay, so when we talk about how much energy costs, what it comes down to is when we're trying to figure out the cost of energy, which we measure in dollars, we need to look at things, two things. We need to look at how much energy we're using, and we need to, which we measure yet again, in kilowatt hours, and we need to look at the rate. So how much is that electricity costing? In Ontario and other municipalities, we measure that by looking at the amount of dollars per kilowatt hour used. So this example here involves the Xbox One. So if we plug our Xbox One into a standard household outlet, which is about 120 volts, it's going to draw approximately 0 0.60 amps of current. Now that's only when it's on standby mode. So that's not when you're playing it, that's just so you can have it turn on really fast. How much money is that going to cost you if you just left it in standby mode and didn't touch it for a year? Well, we know the voltage here is going to be 120 volts. And we know the current here is equal to 0 0.60 amps. So therefore, it should be fairly straightforward to figure out the power usage. So we'll plug those in. So we end up that the use is going to be about 72 watts, which is standard for an Xbox when it's in standby mode. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the energy use. Now, the energy use is equal to power times time. Now, power is easy. We just figure that out. That's 72 watts. But if we want to figure out the time for an entire year, well, we know for time that we know there's 60 seconds in one minute. And we know that there is going to be 60 minutes in one hour. And there is going to be 24 hours in one day. 
and we know there are 365 days in one year. Now ultimately we want to know just hours. So if we wanted to go from seconds to years, this would be perfect. But we don't. We don't want to know about minutes or seconds. We want it to simply be in hours. So when we pull up our calculator, that becomes 24 times 365. So the amount of time is 8,760 hours. So when we take that information and we plug it in, so energy is equal to, I forgot to mention, we have our power outage in 72. So we have 72 watts and our time is 8,760. Okay, so 8,760 times 72. So what we've used in this case is this is going to work out to be 630720. And this is considered watt hours. How do we go from watt hours to kilowatt hours? Well, how do we go from meters to kilometers? We divide by a thousand. So that be means our answer is going to be 6371 kilowatt hours. So our last thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about cost. The cost is equal to energy times rate. Now energy rates in Ontario, they vary. At the high end, you're looking at about 0 0.18 cents per kilowatt hour. At the low end, you're looking at about 0 0.08 cents per kilowatt hour. So, just for argument's sake, let's just put it in the middle. We're going to call it 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So, if we plug those numbers in, so 6371, and we multiply that by 0 0.13. Let's try that again. And that ends up with a number of $828.23. So I made a small mistake on my rounding in case you haven't caught it yet. As you can see, it shouldn't be 6,371 6, kilowatt hours, it should be 637 kilowatt hours. So when we make this 637 kilowatt hours, so 637 times 0.13, the answer becomes 8281, which is pretty realistic actually. Xbox estimated it to cost about $78, $79 a year.